Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Medieval 2. Turks. That is right. We are no longer Tushtopia, for Tushtopia has sadly fallen. And now the Crusaders are pushing their advantage and trying to push me the entire way out of Greece. I suppose we will see how successful they are. This army has a lot of feudal knights, and I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it. Because I'm very much concerned that their knights are just going to walk right over me. If they don't, then they don't. Then I'll be happy, because it means I'll lose the battle. But I'm not so sure. I mean, heavy... Heavy infantry are a direct counter to spearmen. Almost a perfect direct counter. Okay. We have a unit of knights with ladders, a unit of knights with a siege tower, and all of the rest are right here. They're probably going to come in here and here, so... I think I should be able to set up something like that and then maybe set up my archers well these guys are going to have to move but my archers over my archers over here with fire arrows hopefully they stop any kind of siege tower but they oh I have two units selected but they definitely have the advantage in this battle. What does that leave us with? That leaves us with four units of Saracen Militia. I'm going to put two units of Saracen Militia at the wall, and I'm going to have two units for backup, but they're going to be back a bit farther. I don't want to make the same mistake I made at Tushtopia, expecting to win only to have them roll through my forces. These guys, these guys, you're at fire arrows. You are heavy, Cav. Okay. Begin. Now then, uh, I, I honestly, I would give this battle a coin flip. I don't know, I don't know who's going to win. Ah, yes, perfect. That was the perfect lucky shot. Okay, let's bring these town militia over here. And what do I want to do with these Janissaries? I don't know. I suppose the best thing to do with the Janissaries would be to put them in like the center of my gate. Because they're the only heavy infantry that I have. I would hope that they could fight toe to toe against this Mount of Feudal Knights, but I believe the past experiences have, have told otherwise. Siege tower is just under, under attack. So we, we shall see. But we're doing good so far. 15% of their army is dead. Well, almost 15%. Before they even make it to the walls, that's that's good. Especially if they're going to take their time in setting up that gate, up that ramp. They're just giving me more time to take pot shots at their troops. Great one. Okay, so they did finally get the ram at the gate. That's fine. These guys should just get crushed. Ladders ladders are good for making up openings, but uh, the slow the slow drip of heavy infantry into onto this wall is just not going to be enough to overwhelm the number of people here. I hope. Oh, they're doing pretty good. 
But there's just so much resistance lined up against them. Okay, don't be stupid and run out at them. Go ahead and turn on guard mode. There we go. Yeah. So I have to get through the Janissaries before they get to my weak underbelly here. It's not really my weak underbelly. And there's their captain. And their captain died. Okay. This is reasonable. I approve of this greatly. Man, these troops are just... Causing me so many troubles. Go ahead and push in on their size. I don't think that they're going to break through like they did last time. At least it doesn't appear as if they are. So we can go ahead and push our advantage a bit. It's going to hurt. It's definitely going to hurt. But I think that we're going to be come back from this battle. The rest of the future of our empire doesn't look as bright, but I still have hope. Yeah, they've pretty much standstilled and now they're being pushed back. Where are these Janissaries? They've sort of fallen back a little bit, but that's good. They're sort of reinforcing this section here. It means I don't have, like, eight units of dismounted feudal knights focusing on one unit of Janissary, so they're going to be able to get their hitsies in. As the game lags, I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I see. Hmm. It's an issue with my recording software. I might have to fiddle with some settings here after this battle. It only happens during sieges. I think it's just because there's so much stuff going on during sieges that it sort of overwhelms my computer a little bit. I mean, it, it's, it's a fairly powerful computer, but obviously it's not powerful enough. Hmm. Well, it's powerful enough. <laughs> I think. And these guys have won the wall. That is unfortunate. I wonder if I can get my unit... What is it? That one? I wonder if I can get them to come up here and push at their rear. I think that would be helpful. They're just gonna pour out right here. Yeah! and probably get slaughtered. But first, they're going to kill a few knights. And I'm okay with that. Victory, victory doesn't seem so certain now, does it? Can we get these guys to like charge over? That would be nice. Just push on them hard from both flanks. Make the uh, battle a little bit less symmetrical. Also, it would appear as if we have lost our Janissaries. That is unfortunate. Now. We still have our Janissaries. It must have been our uh, a unit of spear spearmen. Mercy. Okay. We have lost half of our men. It's a close battle. I uh, <laughs> I, I can't deny that. Also, they just tore apart that unit. Wow. I was not expecting that. These Saracen militia, they're not as good as I thought that they were. Which is unfortunate. The sieges just don't really seem like they're the Turks' thing. 
honestly. Which is unfortunate because that's like half of the game. Probably more than half. Well, we took. S we did dealt some losses there. But unfortunately, we took so many more losses. Okay, that little bit of lag there again. That's okay, it'll work itself out. Are they just going to wreck my army a little bit at a time? It looks like it. they are. Let's speed up the game a little. Get some of this fighting in. My heavy cavalry should deal some damage. The problem is we're going to have these guys coming down the off the wall soon. Bloodied. They have lost half their men. And that won't be good for them. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to bring... Well, we can't really bring... Great. Why does this always happen? I was going to say we could bring the troops back to the city center, but the city, the closest path to the city center is right through... The, the, the knights. Okay, let's try to get our men back. At least some of them. I don't believe you. Oh, a bunch of them routed. Okay, well, chase after the routing guys. I changed my mind. Come back. Four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. All right. How do we want to deal with this? Our enemy flees before us like a herd of okay. dogs. Okay. Uh, well, let's the run them down. I don't. I am quickly running out of mercy. Even though I want chivalrous generals, I also want these guys to pay for all the pain that they've caused me over the last few turns. Even though this wasn't a Crusader army. That's fine. I want to kill these guys too. Although I think they're going to manage to get off the map in time. Victories are like but we won, thunder. so that's Come, all that really matters, right? Of the most rare and this glory. time. Sadly, I think that our Greek provinces are probably ultimately going to be doomed to get conquered by either the Hungarians or the remnants of the Crusaders. Jeez. <laughs> Great. I I am so excited that this is a thing that's happening. According to the game, we have a fair chance of winning. But the problem is they're attacking over here. So we're going to be on a bridge and have enemies coming at us from both directions. I'm hoping... Well, I don't have that many hopes at the moment. And they blocked out the ability for us to reinforce by making it a night battle. Well, our army looks impressive. At least that's a thing. Alright, we have... Three units of archers. Two units of Ottoman infantry. And a unit of Armenian archers. 
we're going to fight this battle, well, firstly, as if they're going to come across the river at us. Because that's the first thing that's going to happen. They're going to charge across the river right at us. And then, hopefully, we will have enough time to turn around and deal with the Mongol army coming behind us. Will we? No. But that is my hope that we will be able to pull that off. Turn off skirmish mode, all ye guys. We also have these Nafatoons. I've never really used these guys before, but I'm going to try to put them in with my infantry because... Well, ah, oh man, my eye is just itchy all of a sudden. They must know. They must know that I'm going to lose this battle, so they're giving me a handicap. Just to make the loss more painful. Okay, well, I am glad to see that we have a lot of Sifist Lancers in this army. That should make life easier, in theory. Because I don't know how well they compare to the... The... Oh man, my eye. One moment. And I'm back! Blech. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna... I don't know what to do with these Napatoons. I guess I'm gonna put them, like, sort of like that. I also want to put my general, like, like there. I don't want him way in the back because these Mongols are going to come in and I want the first thing that they go for to not be my general. So this is our battle line. It looks about as bad as it is. Let's try this. Oh look, a lot of enemy reinforcements. Great. Come on, charge out across the battlefield. Please. They're not charging out across the battlefield. This this is not what I want. You're supposed to storm across the bridge. Mighty Sultan, the winds of fate have turned against us. The foe seems to be winning the battle. Okay, how do I want to do the so much heavy cavalry there? Okay, let's try to distract them with my Sipis, maybe? Not sure how I'm going to do that when there's so many, but it doesn't look like they're going to storm right across the river, which is a problem. So we're going to have to lure them across the river by assaulting their allies. Assuming that works. It might not. Skirmish. Don't don't charge right into them. Come on, charge across the river. This this is not skirmish mode. I'm going to move these guys. And they're going to come across the river. Well, I have to turn to fight these guys. I can't... Not... Because they're just going to wreck me if I do nothing. They're going to wreck me anyway, apparently. Okay, so this wasn't a very well-managed battle, apparently. Don't 
Do we have any horse archers left? No, not really. The ones that we do have are way far off. Well, they haven't decided to advance yet. We must act now. It's possible we could push them back. I'm not holding out much hope. Horse archers are no... No, no, no. Here they come. I guess I should have left a few infantry back there. And now we're surrounded. Let me tell you on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad this is. It's a 10. <laughs> Hands down. No, uh... No, no doubts about it. Uh, retreat. I can't win this battle. Just withdraw. Get out. Whatever, whatever you can get out. Allah have mercy. We have lost half of our men. Keep withdrawing. Maybe some of them will make it out. Hopefully our general makes it out at least. That was just not good. I probably should have pulled back immediately and not have even tried to fight. I was desperately hoping that they would just storm across the river. I could deal with them when they ran across the river and then turn around and deal with the truce behind me. But obviously their tactics were a bit too more intelligent than that. I have done that before. I, I I mean, I'm not just talking out of my ass here. That is a tactic that I have pulled that has worked. But not that time. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better if we charged across the bridge. I was a bit hesitant to do that because be obviously merciful. bridge attacks yes, are stupid and neighbor. suicidal. Let us pray they do not visit again for some time. Well, that was just a minor disaster. They fight like a cornered snake. Pull back, Yola. Uh oh. The sun sets on today's journey. And now they're going to try to finish off Malik here, and I can't retreat. Well, I'm going to try to fight this battle. I don't think it's going to end very well. This whole turn has been nothing but one huge disaster. <laughs> Alright, let's begin this mess. We still have quite a few horse archers. We might be able to use that to our advantage. We also have not very many anything else. Let's begin. Let's try and utilize our horse archers to take out at least a single flank of theirs. I don't know how well this is going to work. Probably not very. But my Sipis are a match for their horse archers. It's just the fact that they just have so many more. Okay, 
Okay, let's try to keep away from their foot archers for the moment. Also, it might be worth moving my troops forward. Try to catch the attention of the rest of their army so that they're not focusing on my horse archers. Look like they well I was saying it doesn't look like they're going to strike out at these guys, but I would be wrong. As I am many times. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up this hill after these foot archers. I don't have that much choice in the matter. Because if I don't, they're just going to continue to rain uh, arrows down on me. Even if I did stay back there, this would still be an issue. It just wouldn't have come up sooner. <laughs> I'm not very smart. I'm bad at video games. I'm just hoping that I can get some kind of Pyrrhic victory or Pyrrhic loss or close defeat out of this. Their cavalry are hurting, but not enough. I'm gonna try to flank with my general and keep these horse archers over here as distracted as possible. I don't know how well this is going to work, especially because their general is right there. Actually, that's a horrible idea. Pull back. <laughs> Maybe you can try to lure their general into a melee with my spearmen? No. It looks like they're going to stop just short. Let's focus our horse archers on... Ugh. I forgot about those trebuchets. Let's try to take out their general with my horse archers. No, it looks like my army is just going to rout. Well, we might still be able to take out their general. Maybe. Of your enemy once, and of your friend Our general flees the battle. Our general That's flees good. Battle while his Why are you guys fight? not firing? You guys need to fire. You also need to move. You need to move and fire. What are you... Shoot at the general, the bodyguard that I'm telling you to shoot at, not the other archers. What, it... Does he have some sort of force field? Is, okay, thank you. I was a little bit annoyed at that. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's that much hope of salvaging this. And I still need to fix that problem, that lag issue. Perhaps for the next episode. Medieval 2 is the only game that it happens on. I'm not entirely sure why. It's an encoding issue. I mean, Medieval 2 isn't that intensive of a game. Not really. Our men are under attack. 
Okay, their bodyguard, their general is pulling back a little bit. Might as well shoot at other things. Try to get some kills. Where's my general? Is he about to die? Yes. Is that going to stop me from attacking? No. Why would it? General runs like a whip dog. Such a deserter is the brother of the murderer. May he find no peace. It's Men fine. Under attack. We must act now. Honestly, I fully expect him to die. Actually, I don't expect him to survive this. Let's just go in and smash this cavalry. There's not that many left. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Our general lies dead. Pray our warriors' hearts fill with thirst for vengeance and not despair. So dies a Malik of Ray. And our chances at victory. I'll be honest, I do not have that high hopes for this campaign at this point. There's just so much has gone wrong over the last turn, and it does not look good. Maybe I mismanaged it. I don't know. Like I've mentioned before, I've never played the Turks before. I've never had to deal with the issue of them not having any good infantry. I've never had to deal with an almost entirely horse archer based military. I just haven't. Because I'm, the Turks are one of the few factions in the game that have that issue. It's a learning experience. If, if I had to go back and start this whole campaign over, I'd probably do some things differently. Uh, I'd forget about early game infantry for the most part and focus more on the cavalry aspect. As it is, I don't know if there's hope for the Turkish Empire. Not after the loss of Tushtopia. We don't have any money to work with this turn. We only have what the armies that we have. And we will have to find a way to deal with that problem next time. But until then, happy gaming.